Today in Stick War 3, we're using the new Chaos units. We've got crawlers, we've got enslaved giants that can throw giant boulders at the enemy. Now the enemy's gonna be coming at me, and the enemy is gonna be playing as the Order Faction. This is the faction that you normally play in Stick War 1 and 2. And normally you're fighting Chaos. But here in Stick War 3, that's continuing to get new units and upgrades and updates. We get to finally play as Chaos. And it's a lot of fun. And using the new general unit, the Marokai, is pretty dang cool. I think we're barely holding on, probably because we've got this Juggernaut out in the front, and he's tanking most of the enemy damage, allowing these two guys to basically dish out damage from behind our front line. So I'm thinking in order for us to continue having any success, we're gonna have to bring out another Juggernaut. But the enemy looks like they're using the magic kill and a couple spear turns. So they're kind of mimicking our strategy, but doing it uh, maybe a little bit better than us. Where's my other Juggernaut? Is he already dead? I wanted to get another one, but I think at this point, we just need to get crawlers. Now crawlers are new, and I don't know if they're gonna be like good units to mass, but right here, they're actually, we're able to do some damage to these wizards. If I can take out the wizard boss, he's dead. They do have another Spearton. We're both in gold rush, so we started out with like 3,000 gold, which, well, quite frankly, is a lot. Oh my gosh. We defended against that. Now, I'm thinking, instead of going for more units, we need to get more gold producers. There are some zombies that we're going to be sending out here into the middle zone. And in Stick War 3, remember that you got to take the obelisk. That's sort of like the first objective. So the enemy's got a pretty decent and balanced army. Two healers two spiritons. They actually conceded the middle ground, which is fantastic because I need to literally buy time right now. What's that? What's that? Oh, it's like the enemies wants to kill you. It's like, I already knew that. I already know they want to kill me. Enemy captured the tower. They're using this ice spell, but fortunately zombies, zombies are saving my butt. And I think it's the Marokai's special ability to just kind of spawn them up and send them forth. Uh, but the enemy is here. I'm realizing that the issue that I have in this sort of like build deck, I have nothing that uses crystal. So I'm just amassing crystal in a futile effort. All right, so at this point, we need minor controls on so that I can send them to retreat while I hopefully hold off this wave. Those dang Spearton's are doing a number on my forces. But we held off another attack. We've poisoned some of these guys. See, if I had chosen the ability where like a enemy that gets poisoned and then die turns into a zombie, we'd probably be doing pretty good. But even as it stands, we've got a lot of zombies on the battlefield. I think without that, we would be dead. Look at how many, I'm gonna call them battle cats, but they're definitely just crawlers. All right, so this is definitely helping. Now, I don't really have any healers, but my Marokai is healing himself and the giant isn't. So what I want is to get a few more Juggernauts. These are these big skelly boys right okay. here that have 500 health. For reference, Enslaved Giant doesn't even have double that. But if we get like two or three of these things, we have a greater chance of winning. Now, not only do I have to defeat these guys in open combat, but right after this, if we're able to succeed, we have to go on to an even greater challenge, and that is surviving against 11 waves of enemies that are going to attack me. A lot has changed in Stick War 3 since we last played it, probably because I was developing my own Stickman game called Stickman Trenches, having been heavily inspired by this game. This is one of my favorite Stickman games of all time. We're gonna get one more Juggernaut, and then I think after that, we might try to get a few more ranged support units. We already have a pretty strong melee contingent and the zombie spawning, but definitely the weakness to this deck is the fact that I just kind of went all in on units and then buffs to my units. Like we get in 30 gold when we kill an enemy unit and we also have life steal. So it's kind of like, you know, that's good. But we got 2000 crystal just sitting there doing nothing but mocking us. And the fact that like, hey Baron, you gotta get better. At this point, we're able to get another one. Now right here, we're gonna be unit capped. We're 99 out of 100, we have a unit waiting for us. So it seems to me that the best opportunity is now. We're gonna go and try to take the middle ground. Our little crawlers are nipping at the heels of these like Spartan looking Spearton's that are running away. Bravely, bravely, bravely running away. Yeah, we're 103 out of 100, probably because of the zombies. If we did have any sort of like chaos healers, that would be really, really good. 
but I think because we hold the middle ground, we're able to heal ourselves. There are certain like upgrades that are basically like, one's called the zombie apocalypse. We could go all zombies. And if you guys want to see more Stick War 3, well, you gotta let me know. So let's queue up a few Jugger Knights and just have them ready. And we are going to commit to this attack. So you can see that I'm playing mouse and keyboard and I'm doing this on an emulator. But like, if you do play mobile, it's a lot easier to control individual units. And I definitely recommend that. So at this point, I can't really tell if we're losing or not. I mean, it sure looks like we're losing. And yeah, those magic kill, they have a wizard that's, where's their wizard? All right, so at this point we got a retreat, but I fear that we're gonna lose our general and maybe even our giant. So the enemy counterattacked us brilliantly using their frosty archers and an army of spiritons to soak up all that damage. We're already out of money, but we're gonna hold them. We're gonna do our best to hold them off here. Luckily our jugger knights were able to reinforce and now we'll send in some crawlers. Since they're close to us, like, our, you know, in theory, our supply lines are significantly shorter. So at this point, I think we've got a counterattack. They definitely went all in on those frosty spells. Yeah, so my Marikai is dead. These are the two guys that were doing the most damage to us and they were sort of left unsupported so if i could take out one maybe even both of them i would call that a distinct win come on just take out the wizards i told you to take his staff all right where is he he's right there with his stupid little hat smithy has been completed uh, that must be some like achievement just kill the wizard he's right there he's got a little minion blocking him this is so obnoxious i'm seeing his health drop and he's dead okay we're gonna hold the middle ground now <laughs> well whatever units i have left which is just not many but i would say that was worth it so long as the enemy isn't able to quickly rebuild their magic kills their wizards they were doing these like infernious things where they just like explode like it's a fireball explosion on the battlefield and it's just it sucks so now that we've got the general and we have a pretty balanced army, we're not supported by like a giant. So the zombies are gonna scout out who's holding the middle ground. I mean, that's a pretty big army. You know what, we're gonna commit to it. I mean, <laughs> we have to kill them to win anyway, right? Luckily the zombies absorb that first attack of arrows. The crawlers move in second and they're able to chase down most of the archers. Now it's the crawlers that are absorbing that first blast of arrows. They just cause a frosty spell to hit their own units. I don't think that's a very smart idea. And at this point, we are going to get one of the enslaved giants. So we have basically like a giant acting as a catapult or trebuchet on the battlefield fighting for us. I think we're in the enemy's base. And honestly, at this point, I think we have a very good chance of winning it right here. My general, the Marokai, is not hurt at all. He's sitting at full health. And we're doing a decent amount of damage to the statue. It's at 50% health. And remember though, this isn't the end. This is just the beginning. We have the greatest challenge in front of us now. So we have to defend ourselves against 11 waves. Now the ambush is gonna end in about six minutes. For it, okay, the first attacker is on his way. And not only that, I'm pretty sure all of our guys are generating gold. So we'll get a few crawlers to help defend us. And I think I'm gonna be able to get a juggernaut. But against Swordrath, I'm wondering if our little flying archers are the thing to do. Excuse me. Well, this isn't going very well already. Where's the next one? The next one's already on its way. All right. We barely held off and I I'm worried about how many miners that I lost. This build may not work out very well against this. So the best thing we can do is buy ourselves some time by having our crawlers attack out early. But if two crawlers can't take on a sword wrath, fortunately, Crawlers are considered light as well as our archers, so we can build them at the same time. Look at this, as a jugger knight, okay, we have a chance. I'm not saying it's a great chance, but there is a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. Can we build miners at the same time? Yes, we can, that is fan-freaking-tastic. Okay, the jugger knight supported by the flying archer, which I'm forgetting his name right. Okay, two sword wrath, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. We'll get another one of those, three of those guys. So the next purchase should be a jugger knight, a big guy to hold the front line. Although I'm tempted to buy more miners because I'm like, well, with more miners, I'm getting more gold. And with more gold, I get more troops. But that is a trap I can often fall into. 
Now I do have this spell right here that will heal everybody for 15 seconds within its realm of influence, but I don't know if that's like the best thing to do. All right, since I love being able to spawn units at the same time, which is something new in Stick War 3 that you couldn't do in Legacy, I feel that like that's what I gotta do. All right, so let's see how many minutes left. We've got three and a half minutes still left on this ambush, AKA like it's a wave invasion really. So the next guy is definitely a Juggernaut and he's on his way. And then after that, we'll spawn in a few more of the crawlers. Yeah, so whoever's in charge of the Swordwrath army, just sending men in Helter Skelter like is really dumb. I'm sorry, but it's dumb and that's not a good strategy. And you need to be fired from your job. I love how the Juggernauts just like charge through and barrel over men with their giant shields. They're one of the scariest units in the game, I think. Like I hate fighting them because they're so dang strong. Yeah, I'm thinking that we've got a pretty good chance. I don't even know if I really need to heal up, but it could be good. Now the unit cap situation is we're 67 out of 100, but I think we might have reached critical mass at this point. All right, let's heal up everybody in there and let's build one of each. Two of our most elite units. Now, one thing we didn't do was the enslaved giant. Oh, they've got Shadow Wrath now. Look at that little ninja cross in the battlefield. That's one of the coolest looking units in the game, but he's not gonna be able to do much against my army here. Not alone, not fighting by himself. I guess we can get our general, the Marokai. Marokais in the old game were like a unit, but here they're like an elite wizard, a general. Look at that. That is a scary army to be fighting against. So I'm thinking we're definitely able to have a chance. Now I have no idea what the final wave is gonna look like and it might be pretty terrifying. Yes, we're gonna get one of every unit in our army. We're getting the final piece, the piece de la resistance. Is that what they call it? The resistance piece? <laughs> Come on, just hold the line. Let's do a little bit of a healing. Oh, look at that. Just healing everybody in that green square. And there it is, the final guy coming out right now for us. And now that the Marokai's in, we're sending out little zombies to do most of our bidding and we're able to shoot over them with our purpley poison arrows, I guess. Oh my gosh, that is domination. Come on, I wanna see a big invasion. That's what we need in the next one because well, we're just too dang victorious with this new chaos-based army in Stick War 3. If you guys wanna see more, pull the trigger on the like button, let me know and I'll see you in the next one.